if you love the color yellow and the color green, if you love the idea of chapter books and you think you're just about ready to read them on your own, if you have a brother named Tino and a sister named Chelia, if you have a brother named Evan and a sister named Mia, if you have a brother named Kai and a sister named Ray, or if you have a brother and sister of any name, this might be the book for you. No fighting, no biting. The author is Elsa Holmlin Minrick, and the illustrator is Maurice Sendak. This is the same author and the same illustrator that worked together on the book Little Bear. Chapter 1, Cousin Joan. Cousin Joan, I want to sit with you, said Rosa. I want to sit with you, too, said Willie. Shh, said Cousin Joan. I want to read. Willie, you are squeezing me, said Rosa. I was here first. You are squeezing me, too, said Willie. Be still, said Cousin Joan. Be still. I want to read. Rosa whispered, Willie, you are squeezing me. I was here first. Willie whispered, you are squeezing me, and you are squeezing Joan, and I was here, too. Joan said, I just cannot read with you two squeezing. Willie, you sit here. And Rosa, you sit here. Now be still. I want to read. Rosa whispered again, Willie, you did squeeze me, so I will pinch you. And she pinched. Ow! Who pinched me? said Cousin Joan. Oh, Joan, said Rosa, I wanted to pinch Willie, not you. And she squeezes, too, said Willie. Do you know what you two are? said Cousin Joan. You are little alligators. Now be still. I want to read. Rosa whispered, Joan. Shh, said Cousin Joan. But, Joan, said Rosa, now what? asked Cousin Joan. Why are we little alligators? asked Rosa. You are not really little alligators, said Cousin Joan, but you do things like little alligators. How? asked Willie. You squeeze and you pinch, and I cannot read, said Cousin Joan. See, here is an alligator. Here is an alligator in my book, the alligator. Willie said, he is a big alligator, and he looks hungry. Yes, said Cousin Joan, and when he is hungry, even little alligator children are not safe. Not even little alligator children, asked Rosa. Not even little alligator children, said Cousin Joan. Now I want to read. Cousin Joan, said Willie, tell us a story. Tell us about a big hungry alligator. Hmm, yes, said Rosa. A and about alligator children? No, said Cousin Joan. I want to read now. But, Joan, said Willie, you always tell such a nice story. Yes, Joan, you do, said Rosa. Do I really, said Joan. Oh, yes, said Rosa and Willie. Well, said Joan, if you really think so, and you really want a story, then maybe I can tell you one. About alligators, they said. Yes, about alligators, said Joan. About two little alligators called Lightfoot and Quickfoot. Chapter 2. Lightfoot and Quickfoot Once there were two little alligators called Lightfoot and Quickfoot. One morning, Mrs. Alligator said, Come along now, children. We are going fishing. I want you to hurry, because I am very hungry. Good, said Lightfoot. I'm hungry, too. And he bit Quickfoot's tail. Ow, said Quickfoot. And he bit Lightfoot's tail. Come, come, children. No fighting said Mrs. Alligator. No fighting and no biting. Come along now and hurry. Hurry! They all went along the alligator path. Soon they came to a big log. Mrs. Alligator climbed over the log, and she did it very nicely, too. But Lightfoot and Quickfoot did not do so well. Lightfoot climbed up a little way, but then he fell down on top of Quickfoot. So Quickfoot bit him. Then Quickfoot climbed up a little way, but he fell down on top of Lightfoot. So Lightfoot bit him. Then, of course, they were fighting again. Now, who should be coming along but a big, hungry alligator? And when big alligators are hungry, even little alligator children are not safe. Lightfoot and Quickfoot saw him, and they stopped fighting. Well, said the big, hungry alligator, well, well. Two nice little fat alligators, too fat to climb over the log. We are not too fat, 
said Lightfoot and Quickfoot. The log is too big. So, oh, the log is too big, is it? said the big hungry alligator. I will help you over the log. How? asked Lightfoot and Quickfoot. Well, said the big hungry alligator, I can't put you on my back, because if I do, you will fall off. But if I open my mouth, he said, you two can get in. Then we can all go over the log. He opened his mouth wide. And Lightfoot and Quickfoot looked in. Mm, you go first, said Lightfoot. Oh, no, you go first, said Quickfoot. And he pushed Lightfoot. Just then, Mrs. Alligator called, Children, if you can't hurry, I'll give you you-know-what. <sighs> that made Lightfoot and Quickfoot hurry. They forgot all about the big alligator. They climbed over the log quickly all by themselves, and they hurried along until they came to Mrs. Alligator. Now all three went along very nicely, Mrs. Alligator, Lightfoot, and Quickfoot. They went along the alligator path till they came near the water. Then Lightfoot and Quickfoot saw some eggs. Look at the eggs, they said. We want to eat them. Very well, but hurry, said Mrs. Alligator. I will go down along the path, and I will be in the water fishing. Lightfoot said, I count three eggs. I will eat two. Quickfoot said, I count three eggs. I will eat two. Two are too many for you, said Lightfoot. He bit Quickfoot's tail. No, two are too many for you, said Quickfoot. And he bit Lightfoot's tail. Then, of course, they were fighting again. Now, who should be coming along the path but the big, hungry alligator? Lightfoot and Quickfoot saw him, and they stopped fighting. Well, said the big, hungry alligator, well, well, my two nice little friends, what are you doing here? Counting eggs, said Lightfoot and Quickfoot. Counting, said the big hungry alligator. You can't count. Oh, yes, we can. We can so count, said Lightfoot and Quickfoot. If you can count, said the big hungry alligator, maybe you will count my teeth. I have always wanted someone to count my teeth. I will open my mouth wide. Then you two can get in and count all my teeth. All the way to the back of my mouth. So the big hungry alligator opened his mouth wide, as wide as he could. Lightfoot and Quickfoot looked in. Wow, said Lightfoot. Look at all the teeth. And look at all the teeth on the back, said Quickfoot. Go in and count them, said Lightfoot. No, said Quickfoot. You go in and count them. No, I'm going fishing, said Lightfoot. And off he went. I'm going to, said Quickfoot. And Stop, roared the big hungry alligator. But Lightfoot and Quickfoot were on the way down to the water. In the water they went, splash, splash. And right after them came the big hungry alligator. And in the water he went, splash. Now, what would he bump into but Mrs. Alligator? How do you do, she said. Looking for something? Oh, buh, said the big hungry alligator. Oh, buh, he said again. Oh, said Mrs. Alligator. I think I have to go now, he said. I should think so, she said, or I may have to bite you. Good day, ma'am, he said, and he hurried away as fast as he could. Lightfoot said, he ran after us. Quickfoot said, he was not very nice, was he? He is hungry, said Mrs. Alligator, and you look just like fish to him. Do we, they said? Yes, she said. Another time, don't stop to fight and don't stop to talk. Do you hear me, you two? Yes, said Lightfoot and Quickfoot. All right, she said. Now fish. So they fished. And it was good that they did, because they were really very hungry. That's all, said Joan. Now I can read. But I, I want to know something, said Willie. Where did the big alligator go? Oh, said Joan, that's another story. Chapter 3
on the way home. Tell us, said Rose and Willie. Very well, said Joan, here it is. The big alligator went fishing, but not near Mrs. Alligator. He had all the fish he wanted, and that made him very happy. Then he went back along the alligator path. Soon he came to the big log. What should he see there but Lightfoot and Quickfoot? They were on the way home and wanted to climb over the log. They could not do it because they had eaten too many fish. The big alligator said, Well, well, can't climb over this time, can you? I will help you. Oh, we can't talk to you, said Lightfoot and Quickfoot. We have to run now. Ho, 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 laughed the big alligator. Don't run. I will push the log away. So he pushed the log away. By now, he said, be good. And off he went. Just then, Mrs. Alligator came along. Lightfoot said, the big alligator pushed the log away. Did he? said Mrs. Alligator. Yes, said Quickfoot. And he said for us to be good. Are we good? <laughs> yes, of course said Mrs. Alligator. Are we always good? asked Lightfoot. Well, you are good little alligators, said Mrs. Alligator. But when I say no fighting, no fighting! And when I say no biting, no biting! And when I say come along, come! Do you hear, you two? Yes, said Lightfoot and Quickfoot. Good, said Mrs. Alligator. Now come along. And they all went along the path. And that's the end of the story, said Joan. Chapter 4 Rosa's Tooth. Ooh, said Rosa. What is it? asked Joan. My tooth, said Rosa. When you talked about alligator teeth, I wriggled my tooth and it came out. No, I have lost it. Well, let's look for it, said Joan. Rosa and Willie and Cousin Joan looked for the tooth, but the tooth could not be found. Rosa began to cry. I, I, I wanted to put it under my pillow. Willie said, Rosa says the fairies take her tooth and put something under her pillow. Yes, they do, said Rosa. They know that my tooth came out and... If my tooth is not under my pillow, they will think I have forgotten them. Cousin Joan said, Maybe they will know that you have lost it. Anyhow, they will always know that you have not forgotten them. How can they tell? asked Rosa. They can tell just by looking at you, said Cousin Joan. Can they really? said Rosa. But if there is no tooth, will they put something under my pillow? Mm, I think they will said Joan. They may put something under your pillow that is just right for you. What could that be? asked Rosa. It could be a little ring, said Joan. It could be a little ring with a blue forget-me-not on it. Would you like a little ring with a blue forget-me-not on it? I would love it, said Rosa. She had stopped crying, and now she was nearly laughing. Willie said, here's a tooth. I was sitting on it. Sitting on it, said Cousin Joan. My, my. Yes, said Willie. Now let's all read. You can read and we can read. Rosa can sit with me. All right, said Rosa. And let's all be still, said Joan. Willie, said Rosa, you are squeezing me. You are squeezing me too, said Willie. Cousin Joan said, I may have to do something about you two. Willie, are you squeezing Rosa? Willie said, no. Rosa, are you squeezing Willie? She asked. Rosa said, no. Then no one is squeezing, said Joan. No, no one was squeezing. Or fighting, asked Joan. Oh, no, no one was fighting. Or biting, maybe, she asked. No, no, no. No one was biting. Good, 
said Cousin Joan. That's just right. Let's read. And that is the end of the chapter book, No Fighting, No Biting, by Elsa Holmland Minerick, with all the drawings done by Maurice Sendak. <laughs>